my little crafty monsters. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous tutorial, <laughs> it is part two of the Vintage Circus uh, binder mail. This is the second part of the video because remember the first one was way too long and I didn't want to make it a two hour video. So there is a second part, which is this one right here, Bobo. It's this video that you are watching right now. We are going to go ahead and show the little last details that we did to this little book. And in all reality, we didn't really do anything. We just added these little stickers. Um, we just added the little stickers to to the um, to this pocket and then this is the shaker card of course this is that little uh, pocket letter and then we went ahead and we um, we covered the back and then in this divider you guys had already saw when we made the little actual rosettes these are the rosettes that we made right here and we didn't really do anything to that page we didn't do anything to this page as well these are those little um, banners that you guys saw on the first video. This is the banner and um, the little banner kits. And then this right here was the empty pocket that we had. I don't know if y'all remember, but this is the empty pocket. And we went ahead and made a tag flip. So this is the little tag flip that we put into this um, into this little pocket. And then we didn't really do anything to this page at all as well. Then we went ahead and, hold on, let me see if you guys are really looking. Okay, so then right here we made these little envelopes. And in this envelope, um, I didn't really decorate the envelopes yet. I will kind of add something to them in the front, but I didn't do that in the video. I did add um, two little uh, birthday cards that I made myself. These are some little birthday cards. How cute is this? He's in a little box. So I made these two little birthday cards, right? And I put those in the first envelope. And then in the second envelope, I went ahead and just added some blank tags so that she can go ahead and decorate. And then some little doilies and stuff like that. And I didn't really add too, too much onto this, these little envelopes right here because they are paper. I do show you guys how to make that. And then um, we don't really do anything to the back page or anything like that. But we did, hold on, let me kind of close this little bad boy the right way. So like I said, we were gonna add some extra little things here because I was gonna add some stickles and stuff, but I didn't end up doing that on the video because um, I didn't want the whole series of this to be too, too long. But I did, I did uh, make the little tag, which honestly, to tell you the truth, it is freaking, hold on, you're all looking at my big head right here. Um, it is freaking adorable, like adorable. So hold on, hold on. Don't get crazy on me, boo-boos, because I, um, hold on. It's because what happened was I made this little, this little flip tag and, um, whatchamacallit, and two of the tags that I had add like stickles and stuff like that, I had added that pretty intense. And so then I guess it didn't really, um, it didn't really dry until right now. So I'm adding these little bad boys on here so that you guys could see the whole entire um, flip tag that I made for this little bad boy. All right, so are you guys ready? So I just kept it simple because it's in that little pocket and the pocket is really little, remember? We didn't make it that big. So I just did some little curlies with some gold and some little um, iridescent white. I call them pipe cleaners. I don't really know what they're called. I know y'all have a little fancy name for these boo-boos, but I just call them pipe cleaners because that's what they are. <laughs> and then I made a cute little bow out of this sheer ribbon that I have. And so the first little tag, how cute is he? He's the tiny tag because we had to make a little mini tag. Um, so how cute is he? I made the little eyes and the little mustache. It's a little felt mustache. <laughs> I'm in love with him. <laughs> and so the first one is this little um, poster with the little stickles and all that stuff. And then this is a long tag with, it says carnival. 
and it has the little eyelash yarn and then this one's just a regular tag as well too with a little poster and some stickles and stuff like that this one is a shaker tag that we made so this is a shaker tag and so we're gonna make this little bad boy on and so in there it says circus it says the circus is coming is basically what it says Okay, so we made this little bad boy. And then on this one, we just left it black with the little uh, go lettering that says good times. We put some washi tape and some black paper. I, I actually think this one looks really, really cute. And then this is a goodie one. This one we put some little um, sticker dots that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, my friend. And so... Um, Sorry, my little Mexico was trying to come out of me right there. And I I, I don't know. I had a little accent right there. <laughs> but he's the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and so that's where we purchased these little bad boys. And so I packed them and put them on that little tag. And then on this little tag, I went ahead and did another goodie one, which is all the little sequins. And I just added this little um, prize on that one. And then this is a little washi tape one. It has four samples of washi tape. And they're, you know, I put pretty good amounts in there. And then this is the last tag. This is another little poster tag. I really like this one. This one says, entertain a clown and you'll become part of the act. <laughs> That's totally me. <laughs> anyway, so we make this little bad boy. And then we make these, the big old um, envelopes that we're going to put in here. And that will conclude our whole entire um, video on our vintage... Oh my God, why can't I say it? Vintage Circus uh, Binder Mail, which is completely awesome. So anyway, without wasting any more time, let's get down to business, boo-boos, and I will see you guys in a bit. Hola, hola, my little crafty monsters. So in this tutorial, we are finishing up this Vintage Circus um, Binder Mail, and this is part two. So we're gonna go ahead and do the flip tag that we're going to go ahead and put in the last pocket on the third divider on this binder. And then we are also going to go ahead and make um, these two large envelopes that are going to go in the inside. And those are going to contain a few little goodies for the recipient. And so these are some little posters that I got from z googles <laughs> and so i just googled it and <laughs> we found these little um kind of like vintage circus looking kind of posters and pictures and stuff like that whatever it is that i could find and i put it on my microsoft word and i went ahead and i sized them and then i went ahead and printed them so these are some dsp papers from uh, the same designer that we purchased the first DSP papers from, which was the Dart design. And uh, there'll be a link in the bottom of this tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and show you guys how we are using this DSP paper to make the little tags. Some of these are uh, scraps that were left over. And that's why I always tell you, you can make a whole entire project out of your scraps. So these are basically scraps and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and size them. This is going to be my my little mini one <laughs> and so he's kind of cute. We're making ten, 10 tags so I'm cutting 10 different DSP papers and you know different card stocks to different sizes. There's no specific size. I'm kind of keeping them within the two and a half to four inch um, tags i'm not really doing them too big or too small well i mean i am doing them small but i'm not doing them too big and right here i'm just going to go ahead and cut the same thing i'm just basically like i said i'm just keeping it within those measurements two and a half by four and i believe i have 10 of these little bad boys already cut out so um we're going to go ahead and get started because we are going to be making a shaker card, my little ladies and gentlemen. Because, Well, not a shaker card, a shaker tag. Because I love making shaker tags and not to mention this is one of the requirements. So I was like, let's do it. So we're going to go ahead and chalk the corners on each one of these little tags to make them look more like a tag. This is a We Are, we Are Memory Keepers 
um, angle chopper and it just basically cuts them to make them look like tags. And I did purchase this one at um, Hobby Lobes, so you could totally find these there. And then once I did this, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of these little bad boys because you know that we're going to ink the edges of everything. Everything in this project needs to be inked because it needs to go with the same flow. So <laughs> we're basically inking this and um, what you'll call it. So that's basically all we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and decorate them. Now on the decorations, I'm not going to get too, too elaborate with the decorating on these tags because they are just like a little insert that are, that are going to go into that pocket. Our pocket is really not that big. So we are also going to kind of keep them on the slim side. We're not going to put really any dimension or anything like that. Um, these little cream color tags that I'm making, those are the only tags that I'm using the vintage photo on because I want these to look like, you know, just really vintagey. And so we're just using the vintage photo on this one. All the other tags got hit with black set, but these are the only ones that are with the vintage photo. Just for your FYI, my little crafty monsters. And the black one, well, there's nothing you could do with the black one. So <laughs> he just did black. And so we're going to go ahead and hole punch all of them. I'm going to try to do my best to center them. I mean, you know, I'm not really that great. I'm just eyeballing it. And this is a We Are Memory Keepers hole puncher. And this is, I love this hole puncher because it does two sizes. Plus it also does the eyelid, those little eyelid, um, metal rings and you're going to see me do that on one of these tags the one that we're going to turn into a shaker <clears throat> excuse me oh, whoa excuse me <laughs> and so all we're going to do now is just try to fit in whatever tag we are using as a shaker and um we're going to go ahead and just lay him sideways and then we're going to use our heat tool to go ahead and seal the two sides of this little tag and that's just so that we can go ahead and fill this up with a little sequence or whatever it is that you guys want to add into your tag and it will basically become a shaker tag <laughs> so on this part you guys will notice that i did kind of do that i sealed the two sides but i ended up not liking the way this looked so I will change it because the thing is, is that the wheel that's on my heat tool, it's too, too thick and it just doesn't look right on this project. So what I thought was I need to get the thinner one. And so I'm going to go ahead and change the tip of that little heat tool and we're going to redo this, um, this little shaker tag a little bit better than that one because I didn't really like it. Oh. The little man. What, my little man? That's little Matthias. I'm trying to put his little input. He liked the gold sequence. That's basically what he's saying. And so, um, like I said, right here, we're just going to change this into a different little tip. This is a thinner wheel. This one is just a lot better. It's just going to look better once we do the tag because... The one that, like I said, that I had on there was a little too thick and it just, it just didn't look right. So now while that's getting a little more heated, we're going to go ahead and cut this little sign out that we're going to use on the black tag and I mean on the black tag, on the inside of that shaker tag, we're going to go ahead and glue that little bad boy in there. That's going to be like a little vocal point. And then we're going to go ahead and... Um, basically fit that into the little plastic. Now we're going to redo this, but we're going to redo this with a little thinner wheel and it's just going to look a lot better. I always like to run it twice just to make sure that it has a really good seal. And um, once you get the hang of it, if you guys haven't used this tool, you do have to get the hang of it and it, it does take practice to make them, you know, nice and perfect. So 
in the beginning guys don't you know get discouraged I did F up a lot of these little <laughs> tags but you know as I did it more and more I got more um, better at it what I did learn is that this tool needs to be extremely hot so you need to really give it time to heat before you start doing your projects and um, I also learned that it works better with a glass on the bottom <laughs> I don't know why it just works for me but anyway so now after you have all the ends sealed just go ahead and cut off the excess and then we can go ahead and hole punch the little hole in the middle and then we are going to look at that it says for me to breathe because apparently I have not been breathing this whole entire time guys so um, we're gonna go ahead and use one of these little eyelids and we're gonna hole punch the hole in this little plastic and use that eyelid and then that's only just to secure that little hole so that um, none of the confetti and why did I say confetti none of the glitter or the sequence will come out of the little hole once we try to put that on our little ring so now that we have the little shaker card out of the way we're gonna go ahead and start decorating the other cards and we're gonna start off by basically making some goodie tags and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little mixture of sequins the same sequins that we use in our shaker card I mean shaker tag why do I keep saying card I make a lot of shaker cards that's why guys sorry but we're making the little mix the same mix that we use for that shaker tag and so that the recipient could have that same little mix that I used. And so we're gonna go ahead and um, put some double-sided tape on this little tag. And then that's how we're gonna go ahead and attach these little bad boys onto there. And these are like the perfect little size for this tag. I loved it. So this is the double-sided tape. We need some more because we're running out. And um, you could use whatever adhesive you want if you want a tape runner. If the tape runner is strong enough to hold that little plastic bag, then, you know, you can go ahead and use that. But if not, I would really recommend that you use a double-sided tape because it will just basically hold it a lot better. And then once I put that dark sequence on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add the gold and the cream color mix on the very top of this. And... This tag is really just gonna stay as a goodie tag. I'm not really gonna decorate it. I feel that the color and the little, um, the inking the edge, and then um, I'm just gonna put like a little tag on the very front. I think that that's, that's gonna be kind of enough. I don't know, that was just me. But, so now we're going to go ahead and cut out this little sign because I cut this, I mean I cut this, I picked this little sign from um, Z Googles when I was searching for all of these little clip arts and I found this little guy and I thought he was really cute. So once we cut him out we just add some ink on the edges and we're going to go ahead and add some eyelash yarn because like I said we adding eyelash yarn to everything everything gets eyelashes <laughs> so um once we add this little bad boy on there we're just going to go ahead and stick him onto the tag i'm not adding no dimensions or anything like that because well i am going to add dimensions on him but on anything else i'm not because i'm not gonna really tr i'm trying not to make any of the tags really bulky because like i said it needs to fit in that little pocket and every time i'm making this little tags I keep that in mind that it needs to stay slim and slender. Anyway, so I'm fussy cutting this little sign right here. And um, I found this sign also. Like, like I said, everything that you guys see me cutting out right now, I found it on Google's. And so this little sign I thought was completely cute and I really liked it. And... Um, I felt that I wanted to do kind of like a little long tag so that I can use this little sign on And that's basically what we're doing right here We just added some eyelash yarn and then that little sign in the front and I thought that little tag was cute So so far we have four down guys and that little goody one and the black one we're still gonna add some stuff this little mini one I felt that 
there really wasn't much to do with him. So I felt that I was going to make him cute. And I decided to put this little mustache on him. And we're going to use this little powder tool to um, get the sticky part off of the part that's sticking out of the tag. And then we're going to just use some Tombow to add these little googly eyes and let him dry. I think he's so cute. I like him so much. And then, um, I, I mean, you know, he's a mini tag, so I felt make him cute, right? So on these little bad boys, we're going to go ahead and just add like little um, posters and little signs onto some of these tags just to give them a little different interest. And then we're going to hit these little bad boys with some gems and some little flat back pearls and stuff like that. And, um, you know, just kind of basically decorate things. And so right now we're just going to try to cut out as many of these little signs that we possibly can and get them ready so that all I do is just lay them out onto the tags and see how they look. If I like them, then that's the way it's going to go. If not, then, you know, we just change it up to our liking. And that's because I really don't have a plan, guys. There is really no plan at all. But I did choose a lot of these little pictures that I liked. And so whatever fits, fits. <laughs> and so here's this little bad boy. And like I said, we will be adding like some little bling on some of them and some little pearls on some others and, you know, just to give them a little something. And so right here, we're just going to add the little pearls on the bottom part and the very top of this little sign. And then we're going to do basically another one. Like I said, it's super easy to make these little tags. It's really easy. You guys could make them really elaborate or you can just make them kind of simple. I mean, I, I don't know, even just layering them, just it makes them look really, really nice. And so right here, I'm just backing this little sign up with some cream color paper because I want to change it up. I usually cut, do it with like a black, but in this case, I found cream. And then we're going to go ahead and put some little diamonds and some pearls on this little guy because, um, oh no, this is not the one I put the diamonds on. I do put diamonds on one of them that I used also the glitter. I used glitter paper on it. And right here, we're just going to go ahead and add some little stickles. And this is uh, glittered stickles. So once it dries, it's just like little glitter yellow dots and stuff like that, which I think is really cute. It just gave it a little something to these little bad boys. I just have to be really careful on letting these little guys dry because that stickles does take kind of a while to dry. So if you are going to use this on stuff, then make sure you put it somewhere where you don't accidentally touch it because it has happened to me a few times, my little crafty monsters. <laughs> and so uh, now we're just going to go ahead and start working on the rest of these little tags. We are almost done, guys, because remember, we will be using, I mean, we will be making 10 little tags. Now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and make another little goodie bag, and I'm going to give the recipient some of these little sticker um, dots that I purchased at Z Dollar Tree and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some double-sided tape on this little bad boy I put them in a little bag just to you know secure them I put everything in little bags just so that it looks better and they're just secure and so I'm gonna put a little poster in the back just so it can like peep out through the little dots because the dots in the packaging is clear and then once we add the little double-sided tape on this little bad boy then I'm gonna add some I want to add like some washi tape and I want to do a little kind of sign on the very front of this little bad boy so I'm gonna back that little wording on which says adventure with this little um, black strip of cardstock that was a scrap paper we are just using scraps here remember that is all I decided that I'm going to do just add scrap. I mean, just use scraps. I'm not going to use any new papers or anything like that. And then we're just going to use some gold washi tape right here. And 
then I'm gonna put this little bad boy in front of that gold washi tape, which is the little wording. Right here, I ran out of tape, and so <laughs> I only got half of this little sign, so I have to put more tape to get the other side. And that's all I'm really doing to this little tag, which I thought was really simple. And since it's a goodie tag, you know, it's the goodies are sticking out, which I thought was cute. On this black one, I'm just adding this little washi tape, which is gold. And then I'm going to put a little word in. Um, I'm going to back it up on some black cardstock as well. I think it's going to look really, really cute. And I really liked how this card came out. So on this one, we're going to use a gold writing on these letterings so we're just going to go ahead and put that little bad boy on there i'll back it up on that black card stock and once i put this in front of that little gold washi tape it just looked really cute it just popped it like pulled this whole entire tag together i thought it was adorable i don't know i like the darker ones <laughs> and so right here I was trying to see what kind of a topper I'm going to do and I'm going to actually use these little long toppers that I found while I'm turning them into like a topper and of course we need to ink everything I'm going to use some double sided tape to attach this little bad boy and I'm going to put it on the top and the bottom so it attaches completely to the tag and to the little plastic sequence bag now these are a little bit big, they are off on the edges, so you just hit them with your powder tool so it's not sticky anymore. But um, it doesn't look bad if, you know, signs are sticking out of the little... If they're a little bit bigger than the tag is what I'm trying to say, it doesn't look bad. I think it looks cute. And so on this little bad boy, we're going to go ahead and make him into a little washi tape carrier so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and cut some acetate uh clear little plastic and we're gonna put some washi tape samples on there now each one of these washi tapes needs to be about 18 inches and i'm gonna go ahead and give the recipient four different swatches of the washi tapes and so i've learned after doing this so many times that Turning this like, I turn it about 10 times um, is probably like a really good, good length. I think the last time I measured it, it was about 20 something inches. So, I mean, I always do it about 10 times. I turn it around a little, you know, plastic acetate and that's usually long enough. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put four different types and they're all going to be glittered. I definitely definitely said glitter is the way to go um i didn't have any circus themed ones and i wasn't about to go out there and buy any circus ones for this just to give a sample so um you need to use what you got boo boos and this is what i had that was kind of fun you know the glittery the glamoury looking i just I just thought it was cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in a little plastic bag and then I'm going to put double sided tape on this little tag and attach these little um, washi samples onto it. And this is going to be my washi tag. And I don't know, I just thought it was super duper cute. And then we're also going to use like a little sign in the front of this little washi tape tag as well. So. Now we're gonna go ahead and this is the one that I'm gonna use on the little washi tape because I thought it was cute. Put a little tag, I mean tickets. And so there you go. So most of those are all completely done. This is gonna be the last one. This is the one where I'm gonna use a gold glitter and the gold little um cardstock which i thought was really really cute and then i do use the little bling on this one this little last one i thought it was kind of cute and elegant and i really love that little sign and so right here we're just using scraps did you notice how that was a scrap wow nobody ever will know that that was a scrap unless you saw this video you were to think that that's just the way we did it we intentionally cut those little pieces and just added them in the back. 
but that's how you use all your scraps and you know you make little tiny embellishments with them and stuff like that this is why i always tell you guys to save your scraps so these are the little blings and then we're going to add some little color on the very bottom because i just wanted to add some color on the bottom and we're going to basically be done with this little bad boy how cute was that right now we're just going to go ahead and put them all in the ring except for the ones that i added the stickles to the ones that i added stickles to we're going to go ahead and let those dry a little bit longer and now we're going to go ahead and work on our large envelopes and we're going to use the we are memory keepers um, one two three punch board and this one does the boxes bows and envelopes i love this punch board anyway so we're going to cut our paper down to 11 and 1 8 of an inch on two sides of the paper make sure that they're neighboring sides and then we're going to go ahead and basically punch and score at four and a half and then from here on we're just going to go ahead and line up our score lines punch and score line up the score line punch and score and that's basically how you do the um, envelope once again at four and a half punch and score and then the rest is just lining up those score lines that you're doing and you will have a perfect and fast envelope and then all you do is just go ahead and fold all your creases and I like to cut off that little point that's on the very top I mean at the bottom I don't like that point so we're gonna go ahead and cut that little bad boy off and I basically use a ruler. I kind of line up those, the opening of that envelope. You guys will see right now, see? So I kind of line it up and then I fold back that to kind of give it a crease line. And then I will bring out my little paper trimmer and I will cut off that little part because I kind of don't like how it looks. Now, I don't do it really perfect, but you know, it's just, I, that point just gets on my nerves. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and add um, glue to the very edges and then seal these little bad boys on there. And then we will go ahead and paper punch these with our We Are Memory Keepers. Um, it's actually a planner punch. And so it comes with basically all these little planner different punch pegs and stuff like that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and bring this little bad boy out and we will go ahead and punch these envelopes. I'm gonna try to center them as much as I possibly can and I'm gonna use that one to kind of center this little bad boy as well. And then that's how I have them both perfect. Then we're gonna go ahead and get some little circle enforcers and little hole enforcers, I mean. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that, color that, not cut it, sorry. Color it with a little red marker just to give it a little something something or it's like a reddish orange or whatever it is. I don't really know what color it is, but I'm hoping it's red. <laughs> and so we're gonna go ahead and just do that it's kind of a distressed look so I'm not really worried about making them too too saturated with color and I'm doing that on both sides so that that just enforces that little reinforces all those little holes and it's most likely that it's not going to rip um, especially if you add goodies in there which I'm not going to add too much goodies in there because I don't want too much weight to weigh this down because it is a thin um, cardstock it's basically the weight of a regular envelope that you would purchase at the store so um, that's why I don't really want to fill these up too much so of course we're gonna go ahead and ink the edges of our little envelopes and right here I'm making them really messy I want them to look really really distressed and dirty kind of like if they've been through it in the mail <laughs> And they've been kind of dragged on the floor or whatever. So I'm, I'm really packing on this um, black soot. And I'm really, really making this kind of look a little, you know, a little dirty. We're dirtying these up a little boo-boos. And so now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and um, insert these little bad boys. See how they look inside where I'm going to put them. How freaking cute is this? book I want to keep it I swear I want to keep it <laughs> I, I will definitely make, be making another one obviously I'm not going to film myself making it but I will make another one because I really liked how this looked 
And so um, right here, we're just gonna go ahead and cut all the little backing for the pocket letter because we almost forgot that we needed to do that. And I'm just gonna use this little cardstock right here. I'm not really gonna get too fancy with the back of that little pocket letter, but I do wanna add some sort of a DSP paper with the colors that would basically go with everything that we're doing. And so we're just gonna add these little bad boys. And he's done. So this is everything that we've made for this little binder mail. I hope you guys like this video. This concludes our little Welcome tutorial. back, welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make those little flip tags and the little freaking envelopes with our um, We Are Memory Keepers board. And I mean, I didn't even show you guys the back, the back. What I did, I did it off camera because I mean like all I did was stick these little bad boys on there. So all I did was I cut out some little posters and little stuff like that. I made it kind of like a little poster wall. And then I stick, I stuck that in the back of the book. And then this is the front and you guys already saw how we made this tassel if you guys didn't see that. It's in the first video. If you want to see the whole construction and the way this little bad boy was created, that is also in part one, if you guys haven't already saw that. But this is part two, and this concludes that whole video. So um, that's how we did the envelopes and the little flip tags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had so much fun, so much fun uh, making this little bad boy. And I mean... I don't know. I just think it's freaking gorgeous. But I had a lot of fun making it. And I hope that my recipient enjoys it and likes it. Like I said, I will later on kind of put this, I mean, something in the front of these envelopes before I mail them out. But for right now, this is basically completely done. I mean, this is all I'm going to do to this little book. Honestly, to tell you the truth, these are the stickers that we are sending because she is a sticker fan. <laughs> now that's an inside joke because honestly to tell you the truth, she really does not like stickers, but she's gonna love these stickers because these stickers are adorable. But um, anyway, that concludes this whole entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button as well as that notification because you will not get notified if you don't hit that and um, you're gonna miss out on some fabulous videos. And you're not going to like how that feels once you've missed out, boo-boo. So hit that notification button and share and tell a friend. This freaking chair is getting on my nerves, boo-boo, seriously. But anyway, that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Goodbye. <laughs>